Hey guys, just before this video starts, um, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour charity live stream on my channel and I'm also going to be teaming up with YoGap and Brixer Vision. This is for suicide awareness. Uh, for more info on that, go check out my Twitter. It's my pin tweet on my Twitter right now. So yeah, hopefully I, I can see you guys out there. It's going to be on October 26th. So yeah, enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It is Insanity here and welcome to today's video. Now again, I apologize in advance. Uh, my my voice is kind of not there right now. I'm kind of under the weather right now. Now, just before this video starts, be sure to leave a like as it does help this channel grow. And also subscribe if you are new. I do Borderlands content almost every single day on my channel. I have a playlist called How To Borderlands for all your Borderlands needs. And yeah, that link will be down in the description. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get the Mind Killer shotgun in Borderlands 3. This is a really good early game shotgun, and it deals a lot of damage. It's a non-elemental Malawan shotgun, which is kind of interesting. It shoots sound waves, which are pretty cool. I'm not even going to lie. It sounds actually really cool when you shoot it. It deals good damage, and it's really good at ranges as well. It's a shotgun that has a range element to it so the mind killer shotgun is farmable from mouthpiece in the ascension bluff now i have a video on how to farm mouthpiece it's one of my very first how to borderlands videos that link will be down in the description below i mentioned the mind killer in that video but i don't really go in depth on on it so as i said it's farmable for mouthpiece in the ascension bluff this is a really good early game weapon you could get it from your first drop when you when you fight mouthpiece or you could just go back and farm mouthpiece after you turn in the mission it's worth it i would say it's worth it it knocks back a lot of enemies like you know like when you use shotguns in borderlands 3 and you deal enough damage or you hit enough pellets it will send the enemies like ragdolling it does that a lot it's actually pretty good i'm not even gonna lie when you send an enemy ragdolling it, it you know they can't even damage you so i mean I, I in my opinion this is one of the best shotguns in the game okay probably not one of the best but it's one of the best early game legendaries that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you guys did enjoy or find it informative please leave a like as it does help this channel grow and also subscribe if you are new I do Borderlands content almost every single day, so yeah. Been insane, you guys, and I'll see you all later.